Here for us today we are preparing shito. It is Ghanaian chili pepper. It is super delicious. You can eat it with yam, uh, wache, fried rice, pretty much anything that you desire. It tastes delicious and this is the best and simplest way you can actually make this so it can last actually long. All right. So if you are interested in this, go ahead and keep watching. Hello, Queen Esther here. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you are watching my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to welcome you to the royal family. And also click the notification bell. If you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Let's get started. So here is what we're going to be using for our recipe today. Every single thing that you have there. I will actually post every single ingredient in the comment section but what we have going on here is is some ginger roots the more you have the better you also need some garlic and some um, shallots I have three big red onion I also have some garlic paste I also be using some fresh rosemary and I also have some habanero pepper and some rose, I mean some bay leaves. I also have here three ghost peppers. They're super, super spicy because the more spicy the better. And some bay leaf right there as well. I'm also using some onion powder, also some white powder and black pepper. All right. I'm also using some 18 gram of tomato paste and 12 gram of tomato sauce. I have some kenyo pepper, pink salt right there. And I also have some fresh clove in there. It is great for your shito. It makes it super tasty. So that's what we got here. You can get it to your local store, um, Walmart. And I have some fresh shrimp powder. I have a recipe how to make this, so make sure you check my channel. I also have some black, black fish right there and some fresh shrimp that I'm going to fry to add it to my shito for a final taste. I will be using coconut oil. At this moment what we do is simply start cutting all our vegetables. The onion, the um, shallot, the ginger. I'm cutting every single thing and I'm putting that in my blender. I will also add the clove as well to be blended. And what you do want to do is that you add the coconut oil. You do not use water. Simply add your coconut oil as your water and then add as much as you can and begin blending it. Just like this. We are now ready for the actual shito. So what I'm doing right now, I have a pan with some oil in there. I'm using coconut oil still and I'm putting my onion that has been blended in there and I'm stirring it up. I will leave this on the fire for about 15 minutes before proceeding to the next step. And this is the fresh rosemary in there. Make sure you remove the actual stick when all the leaves are falling off. That is how I'm doing right now. Be sure to constantly stir your shito. It requires a lot of attention. So continue stirring every so often so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So this has been on the fire for about 15 minutes and what I'm doing next is simply adding the tomato paste. Add all your tomato paste, the 18 gram of tomato paste in there. It requires a lot but trust me it will be so delicious. So I will simply put my tomato paste in there and let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Then I will proceed to add my tomato sauce in there. After adding my tomato sauce, I'm simply stirring so well that way everything is evenly distributed and I'm going to let this sit on the fire close. Make sure you close otherwise it's going to splatter everywhere. And this is how it looks like after 15 minutes. I'll then introduce my tomato sauce to the mix. All right. So I'm adding the whole um, 12 gram of tomato sauce in there and I'll also stir just as I did before. To ensure it's thoroughly mixed. After adding the tomato sauce, I will then proceed to start adding my seasoning. I'm adding the garlic paste and I will stir it very well to ensure it goes all in. And I will then move on to add the remaining seasoning. 
this is two teaspoons of cayenne pepper add it to your taste um, if you don't have to add if you don't like a lot of spiciness i do i'm also adding two teaspoons of chicken bouillon any seasoning of your choice is perfectly fine all right and i'm also adding one teaspoon of onion pe uh, onion powder and two teaspoons of white pepper you also add black pepper in there as well and two teaspoons of pink salt you can add or use any salt of your choice so simply stir it some more and then make sure you close it because it's splattered everywhere this is a very it's a lot more you cook in shito and i will let it sit down for 35 minutes all right you can cook it even some more because you i want the water to simply be drained out of the uh, of the food before i proceed to my next step so what i do from there after i simply stir it some more and while it's cooking for 35 minutes i'm constantly stirring every five minutes and closing back up i'm now introducing my shrimp powder i have this recipe on my channel i will simply pin it make sure you check it out it is so delicious and well done i'm using my shrimp powder now in there and then i will let it cook for five minutes before proceeding to the next step So while the shito is on the other pot, I begin prepping my shrimp in another pot right here. I will simply, simply start frying it super super hard and then I will add that to the shito when it is ready. Alright, so what I'm doing right now, I simply put some salt on there and then I will put my oil in the pan and wait for it to actually get hot for about after 5 minutes on the fire. Then I will simply put my shrimp in there and fry it until it is totally, totally crispy with no water in there that way it can be in the shito it lasts longer so it doesn't get spoiled right so that's what i'm doing right now and just stir and in the other side this is how the shito has been i actually let it cook for 15 minutes because i've noticed that it was still splattering i wanted the water to to reduce some more before introducing my uh fish powder in there and I would then stir it up and then let it cook some more. But I should take some time to prepare. So the, the what we're going for, we want it to look dark. So after putting my, uh, my fish powder in there, I'm simply stirring it up and I will leave it on the fire to cook an additional 20 minutes because you know I want it to be super, super dark and super, super dry. After stirring it, I'm adding some more coconut oil because I noticed that the oil has reduced and I'm stirring it some more and I let it this cook for an additional 15 minutes as I said earlier and then I introduced the shrimp. The shrimp has totally cooked. This is how it looks. It's looking super super dry and crispy and I will simply pour that into my shito. This is optional. You don't have to do this. You can even use meat if you want to but I simply love shrimp. So I'm using shrimp right now and I'm stirring in there and that shito is literally ready. Y'all tell me this doesn't look good. It looks super awesome and it was so delicious y'all. I made a lot. I had like I poured it in four jars after it was done. It was so delicious with the awache. I also prepared awache on the side. What I was making that I would pin the um I will pin the recipe for how I made the food. I watched the full meal so you can check it out. But make sure you do this, all right? If you watch this video all the way till here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and comment below. Let me know what do you want me to cook next, all right? If you have one of your favorite meal, you want me to go ahead and cook, let me know. And this is the finished product. This is how it looks like. So I watch it with some spaghetti and some eggs, some, some stew. I will be pinning that as well so you can check it out. And this is the jar where I poured the shito in there. I have four of those. It was so much. Thank you for watching Royals. Until I come your way next time with another recipe, be blessed and stay awesome. Au revoir. Salut.